Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. This Bible study, sort of, kind of, is going to be on the Bible as hate speech. So, let's take a look at something here. In Ecclesiastes verse chapter 3 and verse 8, the Bible says a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So what exactly is hate speech? So let's take a look at the American Bar Association. That's the Lawyers Guild. Um, sort of kind of a lawyers union. And it's this is the AmericanBar.org uh, groups and uh, Public Education, Student Central. It's called Students in Action, Debating the Mighty Constitutional Opposites, Debating Hate Speech. So what is hate speech? The American Bar Association defines it as the following, and I quote, Hate speech is speech that offends threatens or insults groups based on race, color, religion, national origin, sexual orientation, disability or other traits. Traits. Okay. Hmm. Hate speech is speech that offends threatens or insults groups based on race, color, religion, national origin, sexual orientation, disability, or other traits. Hmm. And then they start talking, well, you know, we got to have policies that run the risk of limiting an individual's ability to exercise free spit speech. But we have to protect community interests and 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 safeguard the rights of the individual. A balance must be found that protects the civil rights of all without limiting the civil liberties of the speaker. Ooh. So, you know, and then they talk about the First Amendment, you know, which is freedom of speech. So, what is... Um, Let's see. Oh, okay. And then they talk about uh, a guy that was named Matt Hale, a notorious racist who was recently asked to speak at the University of Illinois at Springfield. Hale is the leader of the World, world of the Creator, a white supremacist group. Um, did you ever notice the supremacist groups are always white? They're never Jewish, right? They're never black. His presence on campus was controversial. Several students, faculty, and community members thought that the university should cancel his appearance. Instead, he was allowed to speak. Hale's audience was not impressed. He came across as having a confused set of beliefs that were out of place in a democratic, multicultural society. Several faculties and students spoke out against his message of hatred. So, that is what is called hate speech. So, what about hate speech laws? What are those? Let's take a look. Now, if you look in the uh, description, I have links to the... Uh, American Bar Association, and also I have the European region of the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans, and Intersex Association. I'm afraid to even ask what intersex means or is. I'm afraid to know. What is that, intersex? Does that mean having sex with animals? I don't know. But on the link, uh, hate crime and hate speech, uh, the definitions. What is hate crime and hate speech? Hate speech is public expression which spread, incite, promote, promote, 
or justify hatred, discrimination, or hostility towards a specific group, they contribute to a general climate of intolerance, which in turn makes attacks more probable than those given groups. LGBTI phobic hate crime and hate speech is violence and or speech. Speech. Funny that when I was in elementary school, we always used to say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, evidently, that doesn't apply to the LGBTI phobic people. Whatever. Uh, LGBTI phobic hate crime and hate speech is violence in speech and or aggression towards LGBTI people due to their actual or perceived sexual orientation, gender identity, and or intersex status, which includes homophobic and transphobic hate crime and hate speech. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, so let's see. So they, yeah, they got to pass laws that are, you know, let's see. Uh, you know, laws banning and having legal penalties against hate speech. So... I'm I'm afraid to even look up what intersex means, trans and intersex, but I guess I'm going to do it. Um, there was a guy who was uh, fighting the um, sodomites in Australia, and his name was Luke. I haven't heard from him in a while. He was warning me. He commented uh, on a couple of my um, videos, and he had to flee Australia because he had so many death threats against him. He went to Vietnam, but I haven't heard from him in several weeks, so Luke, if you're listening, please write me. I hope you're okay. But uh, in Australia, you can go to jail for using two words together, sodomite and pedophile. You use those two words together in a derogatory manner, you will go to jail for hate speech and hate crimes. It seems that the uh, there, there was... Um, uh, parasodomites that got whatever, living together and got a piece of paper that says that they were married in Australia and for some reason they were able to adopt a young boy. I don't remember his exact age, but you're talking a kid like you know, maybe 8 to 12 years old. He was not a teen yet. Wasn't a toddler and wasn't a teen. So I'm, I'm kind of doing this from memory. Well, the boy died of internal hemorrhaging from rectal trauma and bleeding died from being raped anally by these two monsters. And when people started pointing out, um, you know, and this horrific thing, um, some of the sodomites in their the Australian government, sort of like our Congress, they had these laws passed that you couldn't use the words sodomite and pedophile in the same sentence. Now they might be pedophiles, and you might they might and they'll be sodomites, but you can't link the two things together because that's hate speech. That's a hate crime, and you'll go to jail if you use that. And Europe is jumping on the same bandwagon. I mean, they've got all kinds of hate speech. I mean, if you get in, if you're in England, and England is just absolutely flooded with third world immigrants and Muslims, and if you don't want, matter of fact, they got a Muslim mayor now in London, and if you don't like the changing of the landscape, and you say something, well, they could put you in jail for you know, hate speech against Muslims. And uh, they're doing this in Germany and France and all over the place. I mean, you know, I don't hate Muslims, but, um, you know, it's like, what can I tell you? Um, Donald Trump saying he was going to expel the illegal Mexicans. If he was in Europe, uh, he'd be charged with a hate crime because that's promoting 
inciting hatred against a racial ethnic group. So, you know, what can I tell you? So, um, the Bible. Did you know that the uh, Bible is considered hate speech? Oh, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, let's take a, a couple look at a couple things. Um, the um, There's an article here. I think it's Canada. It's ca.news.yahoo.com. And uh, I'm going to um, copy the link. And uh, I'm going to post it in the description. But the, uh, the deal is this. Uh, the, basically, the headline is, Israel eyes laws to remove online content inciting terrorism. Well, what is terrorism? Who decides what terrorism is? You know, if you... Uh, you believe the Jewish Talmud, which is the oral commentary on the laws of Moses by the rabbis, they say that Yeshu, Y-E-S-H-U, which is what they call Jesus, it means deceiver, may his name be blotted out, they say that he was the greatest anti-Semite that ever lived, Jesus, right? Because he tried to deceive the Jews. So, if you quote the words of Jesus, Jesus was considered a terrorist. Matter of fact, if you read the commentary of the trials before the crucifixion, the trial of the Sanhedrin and the high priests, Ananias and Caiaphas, and then when they found him guilty, they took him to Pilate, if you read that narrative, um, they accuse Jesus of uh, sedition or treason against Rome. You know, that he was a, he claimed that he was Christ, a king, and we have no king but Caesar. So, you know, that's, uh, that's, uh, what, that would be hate speech. You know, if there, if when Jesus said some certain things, it's considered hate speech. The um, there's the uh, production guy I forget is Paul Wittenberg, he's the one that produced the movie for Pastor Stephen Anderson, uh, After the Tribulation and uh, Marching to Zion. Um, he is his entire store was deleted by big cartel, some website company that he was using for his online store, and he was closed down for hate speech. They just one day deleted his entire website and said, well, you violated our terms of service for hate speech. You know, and although I don't agree with everything that Anderson says, but, you know, that's fine. He wouldn't agree with everything that I say, and, and I'm not the final authority on the Bible, but hate speech. They closed down his entire website, his store, for hate speech. Now, this is America, people. This isn't Europe, Australia, okay? And who defines terrorism? Who defines hate speech? Who? You know, it's like, who's going to be the ones behind this? Um, there's another thing, too, on what's called Twisted.News. I'm going to get you that, too. But the, um, the uh, let's see, the name of the article, and I posted this on my G+, uh, Google+, Plus account. United Nations to control all speech in the near future. Framework being constructed to remove undesirable speech online. What is undesirable speech? Who decides undesirable speech? 
certainly isn't going to be me. Um, what can I tell you? All right, let's read some hate speech from the Bible. Okay, let's take a look. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer or allow. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You shall not allow a witch to live? Do you know that the uh, witches, they call themselves, they don't call themselves witches. They call themselves Wiccans. W-I-C-C-A-N-S. And they practice what's called the craft. Well, we call it witchcraft. But do you know how they used to spell Wiccan? Wicca? W-I-C-C-A? In Old English, they used to spell it W-I-C-K-E. Wicca. W-I-C-K-E. And when you put a D on the end of it, it's called Wicked. That's where they get the word from. Wicked. Wicca. Uh, Deuteronomy 18, and chapter 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses useth divination or an observer of times that's astrology or an enchanter or a witch deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5 the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination or is it Obama nation, unto the Lord thy God. Isn't it funny? Um, that's what all this transgender garbage is all about. Perhaps you heard where Target was going to allow uh, a guy that wants to put on a wig and lipstick and wear a dress, and I want to go into the woman's bathroom. They've already caught uh, at least one guy in the bathroom taking video with his cell phone in the women's bathroom. I've already caught one doing it. I mean, come on, people. What do you think this is all about? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, when I was in high school, I think I would have probably enjoyed watching the girls in the their, their gym taking showers, you know. I probably would have enjoyed that, you know. But uh, would I have put on a wig and lipstick and high heels and a dress to do it? I, I was pretty wild as a teen, but I don't think I was that wild, you know? And if you don't know what an abomination is, uh, that's something that God really, 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 really hates. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. I mean, that is plain and simple. In 1 Kings chapter 14 and verse 24, and there were also Sodomites in the land. Ooh. And they did according to all the abominations, Obama nations, Obama nations, of the nations which the Lord cast out from before, cast out before the children of Israel. Mm. Second Kings 23 and verse 24. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits, that's ghosts, that's devils, that's demons, people. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards, a wizard is just a male witch. Moreover, the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem did Josiah, that's King Josiah, did Josiah put away. He didn't stick them in the closet. No, he put them away. When it means he put them away, it means he killed them. He got rid of the evildoers. 
and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem did Josiah put away, that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book, that Hilkiah, Hilkiah, H-I-L-K-I-A-H, the priest found in the house of the Lord. King Josiah was a good king. The Lord loved King Josiah. And he got rid of the Sodomites. He got rid of the prophets of Baal. He got rid of them. And he didn't buy him a bus ticket to go to the next town over. He got rid of them. He killed them. Leviticus 18.22 Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. Ooh. Leviticus 20 and verse 13. Do you think the, the Sodomites know what this is in the Bible? They know this, they know this better than the average church person. They know what the Bible says. That's why they want these hate speech, hate crime laws passed. They want to get rid of this stuff. This is from the King James Bible, which this and the Geneva and the Webster Bibles are the only Bibles that I actually trust. I'm not King James only, by the way. But uh, the deal is this. The Sodomites will claim that King James was a one of them. Oh, he was a homosexual. Really? That's why his Bible says to kill homosexuals? Sodomites? Oh, 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 we haven't read that yet. Leviticus 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death. Uh, they shall surely be given uh, scholarships by NAMBLA to become school teachers so that they can teach elementary and middle and high school students? No. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Ooh. Do you know that the Bible says that, um, well, listen to this. Go to 2 Chronicles 19 and verse 2. Now, there was a king, a good king. His name was Jehoshaphat. And he was helping a bad king. This is when the divided kingdom happened. Israel and Judah were separated. They had different kings. They had different land areas, and they actually had some wars against each other. So when you get a, 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 a pastor that lies to you and says Israel and Judah are the Jews and Israel are the same, he's lying to you. He's lying to you. The tribe of Judah was to be the tribe of the kings. The tribe of Levi was to be the priests. And Israel split from the kingdom of Judah. They split, sort of like the north and the south in the American Civil War. You, you call a, 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 somebody from Georgia a Yankee, a New York Yankee, they'll probably uh, spit in your face with uh, some tobacco chew and then whip your little behind. I mean, they don't take kindly to that. You know, no, no, we're Southerners. We're Southerners. We ain't no darned Yankees. You know, I'm telling you, I've lived, I've lived in these places. I lived in Tennessee. And I used to say, I sounded like a Yankee. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm from Florida. Florida's south of Tennessee and Georgia. <laughs> so, you know, I'm more southern than you are, boy. So, you know. But, you know, the thing was, the wicked king of Israel went to King Jehoshaphat, who was a good king, the king of Judah. And you can read it in Second Chronicles. Read Second Chronicles uh, chapter 17, 18. And then this is in verse 19, uh, chapter 19 and verse 2. Second Chronicles 17, chapter 17, chapters 18, chapters 19. And this is in verse 2. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, a seer is a prophet. A uh, prophet was called a seer before. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? In other words, should you help the ungodly, the wicked, 
the evil people and and you should love those people that hate the Lord? Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. The, the wrath of the Lord was upon this good king because he helped the ungodly and he loved those people that hate the Lord. And I want you to think about something. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Is it the Lord Jesus Christ? Do, are you, do you love those that hate the Lord Jesus Christ? Think about that. Think about that. In Psalms, chapter 139, verses 21 and verse 22, King David says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Ooh, pretty strong words. Do Satanists hate the Lord God? Do witches hate the Lord God? Of course, the witches will say, Oh, we're just... We're just nature lovers. We, we don't believe in Satan. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if you drink something out of a glass and you don't believe it's poison, but it is poison. You still die just because you don't believe something's true. How many people die from handling guns that they thought were unloaded? I didn't know that gun was loaded when I shot and killed that person. It was an accident. Well, you know... And if you're handling a poisonous snake and you thought it was a harmless snake, well, you still can die from it, you know. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. King David was said by the Lord, a man after God's own heart. Now let me tell you something. In the Garden of Eden, man, the Bible, God said it, it was not good for man to be alone, and he created him, Eve, a woman, to be his helpmate. Okay? Sodomy is rebellion against the Lord. And the Bible says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And the penalty for witchcraft was death. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. The Bible doesn't want witches to become teachers and teach your children Harry Potter and that the Bible's a myth and, and, and Jesus was a transvestite or whatever garbage they teach. But that's hate speech now. In Proverbs 8 and verse 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Sounds like hate speech, doesn't it? Proverbs 8:36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. This is God speaking. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Proverbs 6 and verse 16, 17, 18, and 19. These six things doth the Lord hate. Ooh, six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. In the book of Amos, one of the minor prophets, chapter 5 and verse 15, the Bible says, hate, hate, hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. In the book of John, chapter 15 and verse 18, Jesus speaking, 
if the world hate you, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Psalms 26, verse 5. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Now remember, you know, they always quote, Oh, but God's a God of love. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, God is a God of love that gave his only begotten Son to suffer on the cross for our sins. And I was as big a sinner as any of you. The Ten Commandments, I broke them all. I even aborted at least two of my own children in the 70s when I got my 16-year-old future wife pregnant. Yeah. I got into New Age baby witchcraft. I broke all the Ten Commandments. I blasphemed the Lord Jesus Christ. But I'm not that anymore. Yes, God is a God of love. But did you know that God... You have always hear, Oh, God says... Hate the sin, but love the sinner. That's not in the Bible. How about Malachi 1 and verse 3? Malachi chapter 1 and verse 3. And I hated Esau. What? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. And if you don't know why God hated Esau, i uh, tell you what. Do a search of my site and type in Esau on the search. I've got an entire study on why God hated Esau. God hated Esau, probably returning the favor because Esau hated God. Matthew 24 and verse 9. Jesus speaking. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Mark 13 and verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Ooh, what name is that? Jesus. Isn't Jesus the most hated name in the world? Maybe not Mexico, where they call him Jesus, but, you know, um, I mean, let's face it. Even your so-called Messianic Jews, they hate, a lot of them seem to hate the name Jesus. They won't even use it. Oh, Yeshua. But my Greek New Testament that was translated in English, it doesn't say Yeshua anywhere. It says Jesus. You know? And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Luke 21 verse 17. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. John 15 verse 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Jesus in John 15 and verse 24. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did. Jesus did things. He did works that no other man had done. He raised the dead to life. Yes, that happened in the Old Testament. But he, he healed the sick. He cast out devils. He, he made the blind to see, the lame to walk, the deaf to hear, the dumb to speak. Jesus did things that no other man on this world had done. Even the Jews admit that he did miracle after miracle after miracle, but they said he did it by the power of Satan, by the power of satanic witchcraft. John 15, 24, 
if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not sin. But now they have both seen and hated both me and my Father. You see, if you hate Jesus, you hate God the Father that sent his only begotten Son. You can't love one and hate the other. John 15, 25, the next verse. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. Go to Galatians. Paul. They hate Paul too. Galatians chapter 5, verses 19, 20, and 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Turn on TBN, people. Envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Oh yeah, people. Oh yeah. Witchcraft. And uh, things, you know, the Bible says people that perform the uh, things that God calls abominations, he calls for them to be put to death. He, I don't, personally, I don't believe that the Lord changed his, uh, his mind. I really don't. But that's my opinion. And you know what? It's only a matter of time before the um, Bible is banned as hate speech. Trust me, it's coming. It's coming. It really is. The uh, Sodomites say that the King James Bible is hate speech. The Wiccans, the witches, they say it's hate speech against them, that incites violent, violence and hatred. The Jews absolutely detest the words of Jesus Christ. And if you don't believe me, uh, go to some Jewish websites and type in Yeshu, Y-E-S-H-U. Do a search. And you'll say, well, oh, well, Yeshu's not Jesus. Well, it says that the Jews brought Yeshu to Pontius Pilate, and Judas betrayed him, and he was born of the carpenter and, and Mary, and we had him crucified. Well, who else are they talking about? But they say that Jesus is the ant greatest anti-Semite that ever lived, because he tried to deceive Israel, the Jews, and lead them down the wrong path, claiming that he was God, and that we justly had him put to death. That is what it says in the, uh, the Jewish Talmud. I've read it. I live in the third largest Jewish population in the United States, South Florida. I can go to the, used to be able to go to the public library and, and get actual copies of these books. You know, the thing was, before the internet, I had people telling me about the Talmud. And I'd, they'd say, oh, well, this book and this, this, and this, and look it up. And I'd go to the library, and uh, they had a special reference section. Go to the librarian and say, I, I want this book. And they'd look at me funny, and they'd go get it and bring it, and I'd look it up. Sure enough, it was there. But now it's on the, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff on the Internet. You can go to Amazon. You could actually buy the Talmud. You could actually buy it. It's pretty expensive. It's a large, huge encyclopedia almost. Uh, you can spend several hundred dollars to a, over a thousand buying it. But, um, you know, it, it says Jesus was horrible, said horrible anti-Semitic things. And they blame, they blame the New Testament and the Christian church for the Holocaust, if you believe in that sort of thing. You know, it's just a matter of time, people. And they're going to, uh, you know, this, the, the Bible says that, you know, if a man puts on clothing pertaining to a woman, it's an abomination. Well, what is Obama 
President Obama saying, you know, oh, well, you know, we got to protect the transgenders. Everything that the Bible hates, there are now laws protecting. It's only a matter of time, people. Get yourself an old-time King James Bible, you know, go to a used bookstore and find yourself an old copy of the King James Bible. Um, the new versions, I don't trust them. I don't trust some of the newer King James Bibles coming out because uh, Zondervan, the largest publisher of religious books in the English-speaking world, is owned by HarperCollins. And they print the Satanic Bible by the Church of Satan, Anton Levy. Levy, Levy, Levy. His real name was Levy, Levy a Jew. And he changed his name to Levy because he didn't want us to know he was Jewish. Um, and they also print gay porn. Um, they also print the, uh, oh, the joy of gay sex, of a how-to manual, how to become a sodomite and, 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 and love it. Um, HarperCollins sells these books, and they own Zondervan, which is like the largest Bible publisher in the world, in the English-speaking world. And they, in turn, are owned by the News Corporation, which you know as Fox Television. Rupert Murdoch. So do I trust their Bibles? Oh, oh, and they also print the NIV, which outsold the, the was the number one selling Bible there for a couple of years. I, I don't know if it still is, but there was at least one year it was the largest selling Bible in the English speaking world. So I'm telling you people. Oh, and they now have the Queen, Queen, not King, Queen as in the Queen of England as in the music group, Freddie Mercury, Queen, they have the Queen James Version, where they removed the word sodomite. Matter of fact, if you go to the original 1984 uh, edition, which has since been revised of the NIV, the word sodomite didn't even appear in that, um, that book. There was like one verse that maybe you could use to say that homosexuality was a sin. It said that uh, those that are homosexual offenders shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Well, what is a homosexual offender? Is that a homosexual that offends somebody? Or is that a fundamentalist Christian that offends the homosexual telling him that sodomy is a sin and that he's going to hell? So is that a homosexual that offends? Or is that a, somebody that offends the homosexual? Take your pick, you know. So, people, I'm telling you, it's it's getting real. Uh, the United Nations is uh, working to control online speech. I mean, there's going to be a day when my website's banned, gone, and it's already starting to happen. I there are websites that I used to be able to find, I can't find them anymore. Uh, unless I type in the exact web address, Google deletes them. And uh, Google deleted one of my um, videos. I don't remember which one. I've got like five, six hundred videos now. But they deleted one. Uh, no notice, no nothing, just gone. And uh, another thing, too, is um, please be careful, people. If you get an email from somebody that seems totally out of character, just know that the... Uh, uh, I had some Israelis log into my Gmail account, and when you went into your my Gmail, I could check uh, last logins, and it would give me the last, whatever, 10, 20 logins or whatever. Somebody in Israel, the Israelis logged into my account, and other people were reporting the same thing. So, I mean, you know, they, they have access. And for those of you that don't know it, do you know that Intel's, Intel, you know, the Intel chips, the, uh, they're made in, in, in Zionist Israel, Israelis. They make it, they make the chips over there. What are they putting in the chips? I mean, I don't know. So, what can I tell you? Um, persecution's coming, people. Persecution's coming. They can... They're, they're going to declare Christians as uh, homophobes and hate speech and terrorists. 
it's coming, people. It's coming. And uh, what can I tell you? So stay close to Jesus. And uh, what can I tell you? Well, this is 45 minutes of Bob Chaplin, Bob uh, ranting and raving. Um, John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Jesus is that light of life. And uh, I call this light of the world ministries. And uh, just remember, Jesus is the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world for our sins, of which I had many. In Jesus' precious name, amen.